Hello, please introduce yourself. I'm Leo Buckley and I'm doing uh, History and Politics. I'm Rebecca, I'm a first year mathematician. Hi, I'm Megan and I do biochemistry. So hi, I'm Uj, I'm uh, doing physics. What was your educational background before coming to Trinity? So I went to school in St. Lucia for like year one and two. And then I was homeschooled up until sixth form. I went to a state secondary school in the south of England. I come from India, from the city of Chennai. How did you prepare for your Oxford interviews? Um, I don't think I did too much preparation, just because I kind of had the mentality that it was supposed to be very natural. And it was like, if you're too trained, it might come across as a bit weird. And they want to see how you are like normally. So I thought I'd just go into it and see how it goes. <laughs> Um, so I had one mock interview at my school, which was quite useful. Honestly, I found that more stressful than my actual interview, but I think it's because I knew the teachers, so it felt more pressured. Everyone told me that I need to think out loud for my interviews, so uh, I did some practice doing that. I got my friends to sit with me, and I got them to ask me questions, and, and I practiced and I practiced. Research and read around your tutors. There's a good chance that you'll be interviewed by at least one of them. Um, I was able to, at one point, reference a paper that one of the interviewers had retweeted four weeks ago and I saw his eyebrows go up. And do you remember how you felt, what you were feeling directly before your interview? I was so nervous, I was on the brink of tears, I was like, oh, you're going to hate me, this is going to be so horrible, oh my gosh, how will I ever make it through? But, <laughs> but it was fine, so... I was nervous and excited together. Um, Overall, I think I just decided not to think too much about my interview because thinking, thinking too much just makes me more anxious. I just decided that one hour before the interview, I'd, I'd start getting worried about it and that's what I did. I sat down, I thought about my interview one hour before and I think it was okay. I was very excited because one of the main reasons to apply to Oxford is for the tutorial system. And what an interview is, is it's a, t it's a little tutorial. So I was actually really excited just to see this as my first little sample of what a, an Oxford education might be like. So although of course I was terrified because the stakes are very high, I was also really looking forward to it because if it goes well then it's three years of this. I knew that I was good in my subjects so I was not worried about that aspect of the interview but I was definitely worried whether I would be able to communicate well enough with the uh, tutors because I mean I've never spoken to anyone who's uh, been in a high educational establishment uh, before. Plus, I was kind of worried, which was kind of a silly, silly worry now that I think about it, that they could not understand my accent, but that was not a problem at all. I think that if you're not feeling terrified, you're doing something wrong. What do you actually remember about your interviews? How did they go? First of all, let me say that the interviews were great. Uh, I, I think I really enjoyed the interviews and I should have been less worried than I was. What I really liked was that the aim of the interview was not for me to find the answers to the questions that they're asking me, but instead to explain to them how I'm working out the problem and how my thinking process works. I really felt that the uh, interviewers were listening to what I was saying and what kind of thoughts I was having and and it wasn't that it, and it wasn't that I could solve everything I there were some problems where I could not move to the next step but the inter interviewers were always there to give me the additional push that I needed um, I remember that they actually went quite well um, I had two sets of interviews one at Trinity and one at um, St. Hughes St. Hughes ones were absolutely awful and abysmal but the Trinity ones were very good I remember um, it was really nice I just tried to be like myself so I just was like very giggly and like I laughed throughout the interview and I remember the questions they were quite hard but I think I, was, I just spoke my reasoning out loud I just tried to like keep talking I never just sat there in silence oh I tried to just be like oh yes um this is what I'm thinking maybe this maybe that and um that way you keep a conversation so it just felt a lot more natural like you was talking even though it was on zoom which makes it a bit awkward but yeah would you do anything different knowing how they went now don't be afraid to be wrong because just don't let it get in your head. You will probably be wrong for most of the time, but that's okay. They don't expect you to know the answer straight away because that's that ruins the fun of it for them. You need to get it wrong in order to learn from it to get to the right answer later on. I think the number one best way to prepare for an interview is through having arguments and debates about your subject. Um, just give yourself an argument that preferably you disagree with and try and defend it for a few minutes. But also just surrounding myself with information that 
was adjacent to my course. Because the best way to construct a compelling debate that's logically sound and that also sounds convincing is by being able to bring in little anecdotes or facts that can substantiate your argument from different fields that your interviewer might not necessarily be expecting. Um, I probably would have brushed up on like terminology because I literally went in there knowing nothing and still don't know much. <laughs> but um, at the time I was like, oh, what are these words you people are saying? But yeah, if you just like, if I had just gone over and been like, that's what this word means, that's what that's what it means, then it would be like probably a bit smoother. Um, but just rereading your personal statement and anything relevant to it. So I didn't mention any books in my personal statement because I didn't want to have to reread them. But I mentioned like essays I'd written in my EP, so I then reread them because you don't want to be put on the spot and asked about something and then like not know and not remember because that's just not the greatest way to start. You want to start and be comfortable in what you're saying. How did you think your interviews went immediately afterwards? My first one was at Merton. It was not very good. I, I don't think I said anything right. After every point, the interviewer was like, mm, well, that's not right. What about this? Um, so yeah, my Merton one, I felt awful after it. I thought there's no way they'll want me after that, but it was just at Merton, so it's fine. That's not where I wanted to go anyway. Uh, I think my interviews overall went pretty, pretty good and uh, I was pretty confident about my performance. If you ask me uh, what, I, uh, what I would change, I would probably not have an answer because I think I did decently well. Um, in the Trinity one, yeah, it was okay. It wasn't bad, it wasn't good, but that was, that was fine. <laughs> kind of went how I expected an interview to go. Like it was challenging and I couldn't really tell how it went, but I took that as a good sign. I was quite confident, I was like, yeah, these were really nice interviews. I really like these people. And that actually made me more stressed because I was like, they would, it would be so cool if they were my teachers that I'm really sad if I won't make it in. What did you wear for your interviews? I had no idea about what I would be wearing until maybe maybe two hours before the interview. And I just opened my cupboard, looked at whatever clothes I had and decided to wear a, 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 a random plain black t-shirt and, a, and, a, a, in, and an informal coat over it actually, which did not look nice at all when I took pictures of it after the interview. On top of that, even though my parents and my sisters heavily advised against it, I wore this bandana that made me look like a hippie and I still got it, so... <laughs> I decided to go very smart. I wasn't in a full suit, so I didn't have a tie, but I was in a, uh, a nice shirt and a waistcoat and I had a coat that I took off when I came in. But I went for smart casual on the slightly smarter side. So I had a really bad outfit on, it was like, so I had like this black jumper that was like connected to a shirt, it was just a jumper and it had like this like pilgrim kind of collar because it was like, I didn't have any shirts because I just finished school and I was like no, so I put that on and I had like a pink skirt and like pink top waters. It was like not the greatest outfit but I really, I, they like only saw my top half which I threw that top away shortly after, I was like there's no reason for this to be in my wardrobe but uh, yeah, so I wore. I just wore regular clothes. I wore my favourite outfit because it was the comfiest. They couldn't really see it anyway, to be honest, because it was online. They just saw like a bit of a grey neck, so... I guess you didn't wear your Trinity College personalised stuff. <laughs> no, not quite. 